on 22-2. While monitoring Earth, we found Bob and Johnny playing in the attic. It was a phaser duel. Bob was on the ladder. John fired. <laughs> I got a bad feeling about this. Shut up, Rizzo! Take your position on that bridge. Remember, no one fires until I give the word. Sarge! Sarge! Something's coming! Take cover! <laughs>
was arrayed against us. It was also arrayed against us. It was a goddamn nuclear assault. Oh, you fools! You blown it all up! God damn you! God damn you all the hell! You damn dirty apes! <laughs> never should have had sex with you. Yeah. You should have had sex with dolphins. That's right! Now we have to repopulate the fucking earth. So I say, to the dolphin rape cave! Too sweet! Gua TV good. Subscription Gua TV better. As in, you better subscribe, bitches. With Gua TV's subscription service, you get rare shows available nowhere else. Plus exclusive new content, all for the price of a couple of packs of cigarettes. I wanna kill the president and I don't need a gun. I wanna fuck the government, I wanna fuck a Yeah, you can binge watch hours and hours of Gua TV, completely commercial free. But it's gonna cost. Now give me 30 bucks. Cheap bastard. What's it up, fur bags? Going ahead and balls when she got beat by the U.S. Army. There's one thing I don't do is represent losers. So I sold your ass to Glomco Corporate. Beat your new boss. Greetings, Noir. I am Cameron E. Beaujolais, CEO of Glomco Incorporated. Oh, wait, wait a minute, where's Boss Glom? You are now our property, and we are in the business of making money. So I need a hit record out of you. <laughs> Let me hear it! Sing me a song! I can promise you! They won't never have a hit record. And here's why!
Max Kliegel says Blothar of Gwar was playing with dolls on his dual monster cocks and squirted out green alien jizz into the crowd. It was awesome. Yeah, he does that. From, from time to time. Just every now and then. Yeah, you know, you know when you're just Blotharin. You get that you get that pent up green goo alien aggression. And you gotta you just, get your green jizz out. You gotta let it go, you know. Squirt it out and play with Dolls on your monster cocks. You know, I've never seen Guar, but I imagine that they probably do like even work. Cause I used to see videos of them and they'd like bring out like a uh, George Bush mm -hmm. and like hit his head off with a baseball yeah. bat and like blood would go everywhere. And yeah, it's shit. just more modern now. They yeah. Have, they had Donald Trump. When, right. Like, yeah, I saw him at work tour and it was crazy. Gotcha. Yeah, they pulled out Trump and they ripped open his chest and it shot blood everywhere. And then the main guy had like, uh, like dilapidated tits and cocks just hanging off of him and nice. they like shot stuff and then they brought out a big demon 
dick cannon and just shot coming to the crowd. It was interesting seeing them at Warp Tour. I want to know like how that worked. I'm sure they just got offered a lot of money. <laughs> cause well, like cause like the Warp Tour crowd just doesn't seem. Their the, crowd was huge, but yeah, it was like, a lot of people that were. It was like the parents that brought the kids were just like, yeah. oh, fucking Gore's playing. Like yeah, yeah okay, we what gotta time? see this. Who wants to get jizzed on? Right, yeah, exactly. Let's go like, see Gore. <laughs> it's funny too, cause you think about that. All the parents there that are like. I can't believe my kids fucking listen to this shit. Okay, let's go get cummed on. Yeah, right. <laughs> like a bunch of dudes. Right. Like, yeah. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> we are Bronco. You may not have heard of us, but that's all right. See, even though you don't know our name, you already love us. We make the food you eat, we make the clothes you wear, we make the car you drive, we put a roof over your head, and make the pillow you lay it on at night. We may not make the water you drink, but we have the fluoride and estrogen-like chemicals to keep you healthy and docile. And we put it in non-biodegradable bottles that make your landfills the towering mountains of majesty that will one day cover the world. But we don't just make things. We're doing things, too. We're building the skyscrapers in your cities and setting the fictional prices for your health care. We run your armies and control your politicians. Yes, we're the one percent. And we own everything you want. But don't think of us as stodgy old white dudes. Look, we employ a couple ethnically diverse brown people and pay them almost 70% of the living wage. So no matter what you're doing or where you're going, we'll be there. Because we're not going to stop until we own every goddamn thing on this planet. Thank you, Blanco! <laughs> Speaking of God, we've just purchased the Catholic Church. And we're in the process of forming a major religion merger. So there's no use praying to Him for help. We're Blanco. And we own your acts. two guys over here to exercise. Never happened. Look at the size of them. Knock yourself out, kid. Holy Fuck. Father, bless me with the power of the
Well, that's gonna come to an end, doesn't it? All right, it's time to go for a ride on the mighty Dazzle Ship. into it like this oh, okay uh, I gotta stop
sounds so good. Times a lot. It wasn't nothing pretty. She took my gentle germ. Her limbless body thrashed about, filled with my infected sperm. And I said, baby, you're looking good. That's when I noticed her legs were wood. And all you people, you just don't understand. I need a hole. I don't need no hips. I need the taste of dick on my lips. I fucked her asshole with a piece of frozen shit. Do you understand what I'm saying? I had shit in a freezer. And I took it out and I put it in her asshole. I'm into that. That's who I am. Fish fuck. Oh yeah. I said, fish fuck, baby. I'm gonna fuck you with a fish. I said, fish fuck, baby. I'm gonna fuck you with a fish. I'm gonna take a river carp and ram it up your butt. Why are you my mom? 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 Fish fuck. Then you know it's not it's not just like a regular it's not a soda pop burp. <clears throat> My mother says I'm beautiful. She's proud. She's so proud.
Unfiltered, and if you're watching it, you're probably already dead. Happy Halloween! Happy Halloween, everyone! <laughs> if you didn't already know this, this is Guar, the scum dogs of the universe. Guar has been trapped on Earth for millions and millions of years. We were banished here from outer space by the master, the creator of everything. Because this is the worst punishment. This is the worst place in the universe. And today, it's worse than ever. Are you guys going to go? Cleveland. <laughs> Rock and roll has been an instrument of torture for as long as I can remember, you know? If Odorous was alive right now, he'd love what's happening in this country. The chaos, the hatred, the strife, brother against brother. That's his kind of stuff, you know? He really got into that. But other intergalactic correspondent was actually on Fox News. Until what? Until you killed uh, Sarah Palin, then they kicked him off. Oh, we do every night on stage is illegal in most states, but you know, we're kind of like diplomats. You come to a Guar show and you witness like complete control of an environment by us. We show you the way things are supposed to be, and we rip the faces off our foes and opponents that come and try to ruin our f***ing show every night. The world's totally f***ed up now. Your love of money has trumped over everything. Now you're fatter, sicker, broker, I don't know, stupider. You know, you're easier to kill, so that's, that's good for us. I think the world is just the same as it's always been. It's always been a It's really hard to compete with the humans when it comes to human suffering. I mean, you guys have been doing such a great job. You sort of knocked Guar off the top of the heap. You know, we're here to claim our, uh, our status back. Yeah, it's completely annoying that humans outdoing us. But I do like to turn on the TV and watch you people kill each other. I mean, that's Guar's entertainment. That's like breakfast, you know, a little coffee and a donut. Yeah, they're suffering from their all you can eat buffets in their 300,000 channel cable TV. I love this guy right here. Let me give this guy. <laughs> it's good to see that the president is starting to get some intelligent advisors in the White House. His uh, recent talks with Kanye West gives me hope for the way the, um, the American government is going. I think Kanye and Trump, they love each other because they're the exact same person. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully soon he'll be calling upon us for our visit so we can come in and lead him in how to destroy all America. I mean, how to uh, help Americans be great again or whatever. I don't think we're gonna get invited. Yes, we drank beer. I liked beer. Still like beer. I don't think the Senate asked Brett Kavanaugh the right questions, you know? If we wouldn't really tell if he's a good judge or not, they should have asked him, what type of beer do you really like? I bet he's an IPA guy. <laughs> yeah, I took him on a date once. He couldn't hold his liquor. He got really angry, but I still got lucky. Hey, 
presidents are elected every four years in this country, and halfway through each term comes the midterm elections. Voting doesn't matter to Guar, and it probably shouldn't matter to you either, America, because it obviously doesn't work. Now, the only way for real change is violence. Lots of violence. If you want to get what you want, you got to take it. Yeah, if you voted for Sleazy, our manager, like you were supposed to, he would have legalized crime. I mean, think of the benefits. As long as I make a hefty contribution to this or that bogus charity, why well, I'm as good as your government. I am your government. A lot of people say the musicians should keep their mouths shut and stay out of politics, you know, with like Taylor Swift and Dave Mustaine giving their political views. Well, I say f that. We're getting into politics. Pustulus Maximus for Vice President 2020. He puts the vice back in the office. And Beefcake the Mighty for Secretary of Snacks. No. I'm the man for the job. Wait a minute, I'm getting a presidential alert. Shut up. <laughs> Guar! Trick or treat, human. Let's quit, let's get out of here before the drugs wear off. Bye. 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 Are you trick or treating? Halloween is the stupidest holiday ever invented. I mean, who would want to walk around in costumes all day? That just sounds like a pain in the ass. Well, Halloween really pisses me off. I gotta give you my candy? I don't think so. That candy's for me. I mean, it's actually the only day of the year where I can walk down the street and not get hassled for autographs and, you know, kiss my baby and all that stuff. It's kind of a nice, I do, I walk in the park that day. I think it raises the odds of sexy nuns traveling the world. You know, I mean, have you ever tried to go out there in the wild and get a sexy nun? Why don't nah. nuns dress like that every day? That's my question. Yeah. They, get, they can only dress like that on Halloween. Same thing with nurses. You go to a hospital, they don't look nearly as sexy. But on Halloween, they dress up, they look great. You may have saw me dressed as a pretty princess. What you don't know is I actually am a princess uh, in, in my home world. And I'm obviously pretty. That's why he wears the skirt. This pumpkin spice stuff is getting out of control. I mean, lattes is one thing, but when you have pumpkin spice crack, that's ridiculous. I like pumpkin spice. I put it all over humans and then eat them. It's Halloween. We're Guar. Go f yourself.
It was all me, I did all the fucking heavy lifting. I kicked the shit out of that robot. You know, I'm the baddest up here, so give me another round of applause. That's right. See that low bar? Boom! If you wanna be the man, you have to beat the man! <laughs> Beat the man right off! I am going to beat you to death!
Americans have such a narrow understanding of what tunes right. are that extreme mediocrity would entertain the most imbecilic of imbeciles. What the s***, man? So if you weren't aware, President Trump is actually right down the road from us not that long ago. What would your reaction be if President Trump walked in here tonight and saw your show? He is going to walk in here tonight, I guarantee it. He's got, he said, a presidential honor. He loves yeah. stage time, and everybody else that knows what, what is going to be here tonight on the bar show. So he's going to make an appearance, I guarantee it. So He's a big, big fan. It has been for a long time. On the website, it said your weight is Titanic. Does that mean your weight as much as a Titanic, or? About, yeah, about yeah. the ship, yeah. That's nice. I mean, uh, lots of people drown when they oh, wow. near me, too. You know? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm feeling it. It's hard to breathe around me. It's hard to breathe. It's harder and harder to breathe. So, if you like did... Like the Marine 5 song. Oh, am I familiar? I, I probably know you. You know, know it's you know, all crap. Yeah, yeah, I know you. Yeah, oh yeah. yeah. So, if you didn't hear, uh, England is actually remaking the Titanic. Uh, what do you think about that? How do you think, do you think it's going to sink in or what? I think in the words of Jerry Lee Lewis, oh. I would confess my arms. Oh, wow. No, it's fine. They got blood sauces. But I don't know, they're going to remake the Titanic. I don't yeah. think they're remaking the Titanic because that would be entertaining. I never go down with the ship. I always bail way before things go awry. Yeah, I'm a survivor, man. You're a survivor. People made a, made a late discovery this year by finally realizing that you are made of adherence and the pilots of Rick and Morty. Yeah, that, we did. Yeah, uh, are you a fan of Rick and Morty? It is a great, it is a great entertaining cartoon show. At least they highlight the complexity of the universe while showing you that
until they hate us. Cause if we have a child, it's not about money. It's not about fame. Crazy weird people from other planets, other dimensions, other worlds, finding out who they are and what the hell they're doing, infesting our planet with their crazy weird crap. Frankie, it's Frankie, dude. All right, I gotta introduce you to a personal friend of mine. Frankie's an android just like me. Yeah, it's super. 
It's super. That's what Frankie said. We're, we're pretty much we're evil spirits. I'm Tide Pod Sam. Ah, uh, and what's your superpower? I kill people with Tide Pods. Can you show me how your superpower works? Well, it only works if you're a teasy person. You know, I try to get some extra taint on me today. You know, so he's saying that his superpower is a secret, and he can't like let anybody know what his secret is. I can, all, I can respect that. You're like from Naruto. Yeah. Oh, he's like from the Naruto dimension. So my arm is made by my father. Wow. Are you prepared to go a few rounds? Oh, I'm always. It's done! What did you think about that? I talked to a lot of people from other dimensions, other planets, other worlds, made friends, made enemies, some that I'll forget tomorrow, others that will plague me, and I'll never be able to wash their memory from my mind. But that's Techno Destructo signing out from planet Earth. Ah.